That's him, all right. Sure doesn't look like the same tired old mule I left out here on this range a month ago. Yeah, Captain. He were in pretty good shape. And wherever you see that dandy, Mary Horse Hobo is never far behind. <laughs> Now cut it out, Flicker. Did you see the way Dad looked at you? about it, Ken? You gonna turn Flick loose? Well, look at my horse, full of energy and new life. That's what Flicker needs, a chance to get back in the same shape. She's in fine shape. I give her plenty of exercise. Well, it's not the same with a saddle on. Then I'll ride her bareback. Well, that won't do any good. She stands all day while you're in school, and then you pen her up in the barn at night. But, Dad, I told you I'd be too worried with her out here alone. Ah! All right. I'll race you back to the ranch. See who has to eat the dust. Okay, well, let Mom decide who has the dirtiest face. You ready? Get set, go! <laughs> What did you get into? We had a little race. Flicka against Dandy, fresh from the range. Oh. There isn't much doubt as to who won. Let me wash your face. I can't understand it. Flicka's always been able to beat Dandy. I just can't understand it. You understand it as well as I do, son. A horse against horse, both conditions the same, Flicka'd win in a walk. You put her out on the range for one month, and I'll be wearing the dirt on my face. Your father's right, you know that. What took you so long? Well, I have to tell you. Did you find Hobo? Yeah, I found him all right. But he was clawed up something terrible by a mountain lion. Is he dead? Yeah, but they got that mountain lion, by golly. Poor hobo, always was he afraid of them lions. Just the smell of them and he frees up. He's so scared he cannot run or put up a fight or nothing. So, they bring in that big chestnut. He looks pretty good after all that time on the range. He's yours, Gus. Thank you, Captain. But I sure will miss that hobo. Now do you see why I don't want to leave Flick out on the range? Ken, Gus killed the mountain lion. Yes, but there are plenty of other mountain lions out there. Besides, a lot of other things could happen to Flick. Now, there's a certain amount of danger on the range here or any place else. Well, I'll think about it some more. Ken, that's what you told your father a month ago when he let Dandy out. No more dilly-dallying, son. Tomorrow morning, you turn Flick out on the high range, or I will. Now, that's final. Son? Fear is our greatest enemy. We must learn to conquer it. Poor Hobo wasn't able to do that. By turning Flicker out, you can. Girl, take care of yourself. Good. 
in your own barn, safe and sound, but Mr. Appleby's our friend. He won't mind me leaving you here for a while. Go on, girl. I'll be back first thing in the morning with plenty of oats and carrots. The wind isn't blowing too hard. I'll take you back up on the high range. Boy, son, keep busy. Won't seem like any time at all until Flick is home fit as a fiddle and bright as a new dollar. Yes, Dad, I know. I'm sure she's having a wonderful time romping with the herd. And I've got another chore for you tomorrow. That fence needs whitewashing. Sure. Right after lunch, as soon as I get back. Get back from where? From, from where I'm going, I, I have to see a friend. Well, your friend will have to wait. If the whitewashing's all finished by the time I get back from town, there'll be a treat for you. It would be a great treat to do the fence in the afternoon. Tomorrow morning. And no leaving the ranch until it's finished. Does that barn over there belong to us, too? It sure does, Augie. Pa bought everything inside these fences. Lock, stock, and barrel. Well, let's go see what we got in there. Get up, Pose! Get up. Look, Pa, me and Augie named her Ruby. Ain't she a pretty little old hoe? I reckon. But we don't keep nothing around here just because it's pretty. She's going to earn her keep just like you and Augie and your Pa here. Well, go on, Augie. Get on it. so she let me stay on her. Please don't do that, mister! Mr. Appleby! Mr. Appleby! This year's calling, young, and Appleby done left these parts for good. He has? How come? Because I bought them out, lock, stock, and barrel. What you want on my property? I came for my horse. I hope she hasn't been in your way. You get away from her. She's our hope. But that's Flicker. She's my horse. Flicker? I don't like that name any more than I like you. That's Ruby. We named her. You have no right to name her. She belongs to me. You're talking nonsense, son. 
I got papers that says that this land and everything that's on it belongs to me. And she was on our land and our shed over yonder. Well, that's where I kept her for safekeeping. She's my horse and I can prove it. Come here, girl. Come here, come on. Stop and paw, he's enchanting her. You leave Ruby alone. You get off our land. You better do what he says, son. And don't you be coming back here with that nonsense about owning something that don't belong to you. Now skedaddle. Go on, get. Nobody here but the animals, Becky. I bet you dreamed it. I did not dream it. Say, I seen that kid. He's still out to get Ruby for himself. surprised. I saw Mr. Appleby in town before he went away, and he told me all about the Hoskins family. That still doesn't excuse what you did. It was fear, Ken. Well, this wouldn't have happened. Well, I'm awful scared right now, Mom. What would you do about this if you were in my place, son? Well, first I'd make me finish the fence, and then I'd punish me for not leaving Flick out on the range. How should I punish you? Well, I take away my earnings for a long time and make me work three times more than I ever did. But please, Dad, if I were you, I'd get Flicka back for me as fast as I could. Well, I'll think about it. In the meantime, you stay away from the Hoskins place. Pretty horse is any good anyhow. Come on now. Come to see somebody? You Mr. Hoskins? I'm him. I'm Rob McLaughlin. I own the Goose Bar Ranch. What can I do for you? Seems to be a little mix-up over the ownership of my son's horse. Augie, okay, he's trying to make a claim on Ruby. That's your mouth, Becky. You reckon I can handle this? You let me handle him, Paul. You'd better just get off our land while the getting's good. Not without the horse. Mister, when a man owns property, he's got papers to prove it like I got. And when he owns a horse, he puts his brand on him. Reckon you got your brand on this one? Yeah. Now, show me a brown on that one, and she's yours. You don't know about the horse country, Hoskins. The ownership of an unbranded horse is decided by the commissioner of livestock. Fetch him around. The horse stays here. If you do anything to harm that horse, you have to answer to me. And the horse isn't to be moved from this property or sold or branded until the commissioner decides who owns her. 
Do you agree, Hoskins? Yep. I go by my word and the law. Now that you spoke your piece, you better be getting on. gets in town, we'll present the facts. You'll get a square deal. That's all I can promise you, Ken. But what about Mr. Appleby? He'll tell Mr. Hoskins that Flick is my horse. Gus and I looked all over town for him. He's gone and no one seems to know where. Well, there's a lot of other people that'll say Flick is mine. Sure they will. I don't like to pile blame on top of blame, son. If you'd let me brand Flicker when I wanted to, Hoskins wouldn't stand a chance now. Don't worry, Dad. If we get her back, I'll let you brand her. And I'll turn her out where she'll be safe. Augie, Pa's fixing to leave for town. Going into town to stock up on vittles. When you youngsters get through with that sawing, start plowing that West 40 over there. Yeah, Paul. And don't you be using that ruby horse another. She stays put. Yeah, Paul. Get up. Gee, okay. now we've got a chance to take care of that ruby while Paul's going to town. What are we going to do to her, Becky? Come on in the barn. I'll show you. I wasn't to come here, but but I just got to see Flicka. Come on, Ruby. What you got, Becky? Brand and Iron. Hmm. What's your fur? It's to brand horses, silly. Look, it's an A for Appleby, man used to own his place. We split it right here, we got us an H for Hoskins. Oh, yeah, you mean one of them things? Sure. We slap a brand on old Ruby, and she's our horse for sure and keeps. Can you do it? Get me one of them our knives. Hold in. Four traps ought to do the trick. That's right, Captain. Where there is one, there's always more of them. Dad! Dad, where are you? Over here, son. I was just over at the Hoskins Ranch. I told you to stay away from there. They're going to brand Flicka with an H. Get to your brand 
Sandy and Augie. I'm holding Ruby. Well, hurry up for it. Get cold. Get on the other side, stupid. Who cares what side we brand her on? Father, he gave me his word to <laughs> brand that horse. You just get off our land or I'll brand you. Dad, watch out! I got him, Augie, I got him! Get after him! Now you let me go, let me go! Let me go! tried to brand my son's horse. I thought I had your word, Hoskins. You did, and you got it. You young scalawag is trying to break my word to this man. I'll teach you a man's word is the gospel. Now in the house with you. Go on, get. Get along with you. Can't take Flick outside. You can't do that. We got agreement. That commissioner fellow's got to decide who owns that horse. Well, until he does, we're taking Flick out of my place. Come on, son. can never claim you again, Flicka, but me. I just can't get over the look on that ugly one's face when the commissioner tell him that Flicka belonged to Ken. <laughs> Imagine naming her Ruby. Yeah. All right, son, turn her loose. We'll pick her up in a couple of weeks. I don't think so, Dad. She should stay out at least a month, maybe longer. Go ahead, Flicka. Have a good vacation, and don't be afraid of anything. Go on, girl. Yeah. 